good morning. It's uh, Saturday morning, uh, March 28th here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, my wife and I uh, have a solar company, Harmon Electric, Harmon Solar here in Phoenix. And this weekend I wanted to run an experiment to see if our house in the, in the event of a grid outage would be able to sustain itself uh, with the solar system that we have as well as the uh, Tesla power walls that we have. So the system we installed, the batteries, uh, we've got three power walls in the garage. Uh, we installed them last uh, March, so they've been in uh, operation for about a year. And then we also have <clears throat> the most of the house backed up. Um, we can see here, this is the panel, um, which most of the loads for the house are actually backed up. So uh, we should be in pretty good shape when we flip the switch. Um, it's about seven o'clock. Um, so the loads that we don't have backed up in the house are the sub panel for the pool equipment, our sprinklers, and a couple other just generic circuits. So, all right, here goes. Okay. I had just flipped the switch uh, to shut the power off to the house. Um, walking back inside, obviously the lights in the garage, nothing seems to be any different. Lights in the kitchen. Um, computer screen looks the same. Even the, uh, even the um, stove clock didn't have, wasn't even affected. So the the power turnover or changeover happened instantaneously and the house doesn't know any different. Uh, it's just running off the solar energy this morning right now and the, and the batteries. I'm gonna check in uh, in the evening and in the morning uh, and see how it goes. I know I said I was gonna check in later on tonight, but I got a funny story when we turned the power off to the house, um, not quite understanding exactly what those loads were that aren't backed up, but the exterior uh, receptacles on the house are not part of the backed up loads. And I had, uh, I had my Traeger plugged in with some uh, a brisket on it uh, for later on this afternoon. So I had to uh, run an extension cord um, from inside the house to be able to get the Traeger turned back on again. So I just thought that was funny. All right. Uh, well, it's the next morning after uh, our full day uh, yesterday. So we've gone 24 hours. Um, it's about 8.30, quarter to nine. And we started this yesterday morning around seven. Um, everything seemed to go well yesterday. Uh, we ended up this morning when the sun came up that we had about 15 or 16% left in the batteries. Didn't really modify things too much last night. And I think we probably could have done even a little bit better, um, had we not run the oven, uh, later on in the evening to make, to make some brownies. Um, outside of that, I did make one modification. I turned off all of our landscape lighting. So I did, I did adjust that, which I think probably saved us four to six kilowatt hours overnight. So that was pretty substantial. Um, but other than that, everything looks good. Uh, we'll see how today goes. All right. So it's eight o'clock at night. Uh, dark, obviously, outside. Batteries are working. Um, garage light is on. Uh, walk inside. So we got uh, normal things going on. Lights in. We got uh, uh, computer still on. We got the refrigerator still working. Got the oh, bottle of wine. We got the food still good and cold. Um, we got dinner going. Uh, got some enchiladas, pretty delicious. Um, we got the dishwasher going. Everything's working good. Walk in the, uh, the other room. You can see that the wife is watching TV. Fans are going. Less than 30,000 citizens. Dogs are happy. It's very and of course, the most important appliance, the uh, humidor, is uh, still working perfectly fine. So, life is normal. Power's out. Um, living our life is normal. Well, it's uh, Monday morning. It's uh, about 8.30. We, uh, I just turned the power back on to the house. We were successful um, for the whole weekend, basically for a little over 48 hours of uh, going without utility power. Um, now, 
uh, I'll get to go around and kind of check all the timers and so forth on the outside stuff to make sure everything's going to work properly. But I feel like it was a success. We could have continued to run longer, I would imagine, indefinitely until we need the air conditioners. But uh, I thought the experiment was a success. Thanks for joining. Bye.